Photosynthesis usually occurs in the mesophyll cells of the leaf, and during the day, the stomata on the underside of the leaf stay open to let CO2 pass in and O2 pass out. But while the stomata are open, it also inevitably lets H2O transpire or evaporate out of the plant. So that's why at night the stomata are closed to prevent any water from transpiring out and minimizing um, any unnecessary water loss. Under hot arid weather conditions though, water loss is a really big issue and this setup for photosynthesis becomes inefficient because as long as the stomata are open during the day, water will rapidly evaporate into the hot and dry air and a normal plant would quickly deplete its water supply. So in arid environments, plants change their pattern of photosynthesis to minimize water loss but maximize sugar production and there are two different ways that plants have adapted called C4 plants and CAM plants. C4 plants are fairly common and used in several thousand species of plant including sugarcane and corn. In the C4 pathway what happens is plants avoid transpiration by keeping their stomata only halfway open. So this is a trade-off though because the smaller the stomata opening the less CO2 that can enter the plant. So to compensate for this decreased level of CO2 um, C4, the C4 pathway has an extra cycle before the Calvin cycle that first converts CO2 into a 4-carbon organic acid. And this is where C4 gets its name from, C4 4-carbon. Why does this extra cycle occur? The reason for it is because the enzyme used to convert CO2 into a 4-carbon compound has a much greater affinity for CO2 than the enzyme that would start the Calvin cycle. And so in that way, despite lower CO2 levels entering the plant, just as much CO2 is still being captured. What happens now is that there are two different parts of the leaf in which these cycles occur, called the mesophyll cells and the bundle sheath cells. And the bundle sheath cells are these tightly packed cells around the center of the leaf surrounding the vascular tissue. So the mesophyll cell becomes the site for the organic acid cycle and it converts CO2 into this organic acid but then converts it back into CO2 to be pumped into the bundle sheath cells for the Calvin cycle to start. And then the Calvin cycle will go on as usual, create sugar and pump the sugar into the vascular tissue. CAM plants are different in that they're water storing plants. So many different cacti, pineapples, and several other plant families will use the CAM pathway. Instead of opening their stomata only halfway, they open their stomata at night and keep them closed during the day. So what this means is that now this, um, this type of technique can avoid opening the stomata only halfway because at night the air is cooler and the water won't evaporate as quickly as in the hot, dry daytime. And just like C4 plants, CAM plants have an extra cycle before the Calvin cycle that incorporates CO2 into an organic acid. But unlike C4 plants, um, the CAM plant isn't incorporating CO2 into or an, or an organic acid because of a higher affinity for CO2. Rather, it's because this incorporation of CO2 is happening during the nighttime and the plant needs to find some way to store the CO2 until the daytime because only in the day is there light for the light reactions to produce the proper pro uh, the appropriate products for the Calvin cycle so that the Calvin cycle can occur. So at night the CO2 will enter in, convert into organic acid, store itself overnight and then during the day convert back into CO2 for the Calvin cycle to use when there is light. So you can see from the comparison of the C4 and CAM plant cycles that they both have an extra cycle beginning um, with CO2 to convert into an organic acid which converts back into CO2 for the Calvin cycle to use. The difference is that C4 plants have two different sites in which these cycles occur, the mesophyll and the bundle sheath cell, whereas CAM plants have two different times in which these cycles occur, which is the night and the day.